Singapore generated enough solid waste last year to fill around 3,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Now, it's up from the year before as the economy continues to recover and as industrial activity picks up, especially in construction. Chloe Chu with this report. Singapore produced nearly 7.4 million tonnes of solid waste in 2022. That's around 6.5% more than in the prior year. Much of it came from the construction sector as building and demolition activity picked up post-pandemic. Of all the waste generated, more than half was recycled, up slightly to 57% last year. Part of this was also due to newcomers entering the industrial recycling space. We saw an increase in the recycling rate for glass waste and ash and sludge waste. That's because we have new recycling facilities in Singapore. Firstly, the glass recycling company is able to recycle glass into a material that's being used for ship blasting. Second, for the ash and uh, sludge recycling company, they are able to extract the sludge from semicon industries for treatment. But a different story unfolded at home and on premises like schools, patrol stations and hawker centres. The domestic recycling rate slipped a notch to 12%, the lowest in more than a decade. NEA says it's because less paper and textile waste were exported for recycling due to high freight costs. I'm looking at an office paper recycling bin. Now, Singapore currently doesn't have any recycling facilities for materials like paper and textile waste. They're usually collected and packed before being sent off for processing in countries like India, China and Indonesia. This makes it challenging because it means that certain recycling streams are still dependent on external factors and just leaving them in recycling bins won't do. One expert says it isn't just a simple case of opening more processing plants in Singapore. There's this whole supply and demand kind of calculation. So as a consumer, if more of us start requesting or buying products that are made of recycled materials, then clearly the demand for recycled materials will go up. And that's where maybe you know, there's more, uh, people will see more benefit in recycling, in, in doing the whole process of recycling and getting these materials. Mindsets and behaviours are slowly but surely changing. One social enterprise that dabbles in giving used clothing new life says consumers are becoming more responsible. Yeah, Every Singaporean throws away 150 t-shirts per year. Out of this, 99% of the textiles can actually be reused and recycled. This way, we can reduce carbon emissions. So for the past five years, we have noticed an increase in 20% of our customers are starting to embrace pre-love fashion. NEA says it is becoming more imperative for Singapore to shift to a circular economy. To help reduce waste and increase recycling, it's putting in place schemes like the Beverage Container Return Scheme, food waste reporting requirements and the upcoming disposable carrier bag charge at supermarkets.